Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animwatch based in Malaysia and today we've got for you a comparison between in the blue corner we've got the San Martin SN007X X this uh, 37 millimeters version of this exact watch this is the San Martin SN007 the original version right so we're going to be compared it to this uh, one this one and also the Seaston 62 mass again another 37 millimeters watch right so you see that the three all of these three watches are an homage to this due to the other popular Seiko 62 mask and which has been you know what the granddaddy of uh, all the Seiko uh, drive watches and yeah uh, to just stay tuned and grab yourself a coffee or, or a tea and this is going to be a long one let's cue the intro Right, so let's do a quick dimension check. Oh, quick wristwatch check that I've shown just now. This is my San Martin SM007, uh, the original version, which is in 40 millimeters in diameter, and this one is actually a BSH Brotherhood of Submariner Homages uh, edition, which is, has that custom logo there. Right, so let's do a dimension check and let's find out where the heck did I put my calipers. Okay, I found it. I found it. <laughs> right, so let's just compare it with this first two. Right, so this one is actually uh, using a third. I think let's just measure the case first. The case is about thirty-seven millimeters, but on the brace, sorry, on the uh, bezel is thirty-eight millimeters, and a thickness is with including that top has sapphire crystal is twelve point eight, so just under thirteen millimeters and a lug width right so a lug width is about 46.8 millimeters so let's call it 47 millimeters right so compare it to the uh to the cistern so let's just measure the case first so that will be about uh, again 37 millimeters and including the bezel that will be 38.4 millimeters right Let's just remember that, right? 38.3 meters, just a tad bigger compared to the San Martin. And uh, including the sapphire crystal, that will be about 30, 13.5 millimeters because, yeah, it used it. It used that Seiko NH35 movement and uh, that one. The C San Martin is using a PT5000 movement and a luck to luck of. Luck to luck of. 40. 6.4 hmm that's a bit shorter compared to the San Martin isn't it right so you know what let's just bring in the OG the SM007 the big guy the big boy here so that will be uh, you know what let's just measure again the case diameter of about 40 millimeters right so with the bezel that will be about again similar 40 millimeters and a thickness of 14.4 that's quite tall because of that bubble dome sapphire crystal right so and the luck to luck i think this one is going to be around 50 nope 48 millimeters right switch right 48 millimeters right so let's measure it weigh how much does it weigh on this uh straps right so I have each watch not on the bracelet, so I paired this watch with um this seven seven zero zero seven with a this atom strap, so that weighs at about ninety one or ninety two grams. So the San Martin zero zero seven X or the mini <laughs> mini version, um that will be around ninety nine grams. Hmm, surprisingly, that's a bit heavy. Alright, so on uh, let's check out the uh Seastern Seastern that will be oops okay you know what let's just put it like so okay that's nine right let's do that ah 93 grams so you can see that this one is the lightest right so that's interesting and of course they all have um, sapphire crystal you know what let's just quickly check we quickly just check 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 that out yep sapphire crystal and uh, sapphire crystal <laughs> I'm a bit scared there and of course sapphire crystal right so um, of course all of them has 20 millimeters lug width which makes them very very easy to use 
and swap out the bracelet or strap that they come with talking about the bracelet let's just put these two away right so the san martin 007 and the san martin 007x comes with a bracelet which is this one and you see here i have a pin here stuck on this bit because for the i don't know guys i maybe i'm just got unlucky i wanted to take out one link or is i wanted to add in one link and it won't bash and my pin just stuck there and i st I, I couldn't get it out for whatever reason yep and from the pictures it looks like they are the same but in real this is the 007 it is this one is the bracelet on the 007x so in the pictures they look different but in reality they are actually different uh, sorry they they look the same but in reality they are different right let's just go through one by one so on the top you can see that you have these end links right so they look almost similar from the top but you can see here that it is there is a bit more round shape here and it is a little bit more flat and at the bottom right so you see that this one is it has this flat um what do you call this under uh, stopper kind of thing and at the 007x it has this extended bits right so yeah it's a bit different it's it's a bit different so from the top you can see that it almost looks the same brush finishing on the top and we have this polish finishing in the middle and it this uh, 007x also comes with almost the same finishing but if you see from the side right so the 007x is much much more blocky and the 007 is much much more rounder and of course it used that queen pin and call system which is very very annoying to take out <laughs> and it has this uh your simple class because this is the version one that i have here whilst on the 007x it has this um screw pins which is uh, uh you know a doddle to uh resize right so that's good right we, of course they come with this excellent san martin class with a four micro adjust so that's about the bracelet let's talk about the case right so of course on the original version brush finishing on the top polish finishing on the side so yeah that's nothing new there so we've seen this a thousand times i have the f version one so now they are making this in version four i think and case finishing on this one right so on the 07x you, you of course it is a smaller case so it is uh, circular brushing on the top again brush sorry polish finishing on the side and it is a whole lot thinner in in the middle case and of course in total length because this one is housing the pt5000 movement this one is just like i mentioned just now 14.5 it is a whole lot taller yep and you see that the case contour is also different right so that's about the case and if you compare this one to this uh, cistern right, you can see that the cistern also have the circular brushing on the top and a polish sorry a brush finishing on the side right so yeah it all depends on how you prefer your case whether you like it polish or you like it brush i generally i prefer brush finishing but yeah on the same matan they are finished beautifully yeah, we have to wipe off those smudges <laughs> so sorry about that guys the finishing on san martin is way way much better compared to this to the um cistern right so you can see the polishing is almost perfect no there's no pit, pit mark or something like that yeah of course this one has this um polished bevel but not really to the uh to the class to the finishing that san martin has right so let's go to the bezel you can see that the bezel on the san martin is a bit thicker so this crown this uh, coin edge and this one is a little bit thinner of course they're both featuring this crown uh, sorry coin edge bezel right so on the 007 mm, yep finishing on this 007 is again uh, thicker almost similar to almost same as the uh, 007x but the improvement that san martin did on this particular bezel is that this initial this one feels very very sharp and you know you won't have that uh, sharp finishing on this one and of course on this cistern it is less sharp because the it doesn't protrude that much so you can see that the this this how to say, this cock right this this um protrusion is not really as uh 
you know as how tall as the as this one is taller this one is a whole lot thinner uh, yeah so yeah the grip of, of course uh, you know almost the same so nothing yeah new there all right so let's just compare the bezel let's just start with the cistern so this one of course ceramic bezel insert with a loom peep there so yeah turning it It is a tad to the yeah, you can see that there's a bit of play there. It's a tad to the right, right? So on the 007X, yeah, bang on, no back play again. Ceramic bezel insert with just one loom peep on the top, and the 007, yeah, you can see <laughs> immediately you can see this yellowish bezel yep you see there Ooh, that feels very very loud and and you know handling the bezel is not that uh, it's that good experience because it's very very sharp and of course it aligns right so and it has this full loom ceramic bezel insert right so that's that let's talk about the dial right so this one has that silver sunburst dial which mimics the original 62 mask with this block very very huge block chunk of you know and indices and we have that dead wheel on the three o'clock with that water 200 proof 24 jewels which mimics the um, original 62 mass right with and of course we have that um, hands big fat hands on the hour and also on the minute hands and also on the second hands and the dial right so the dial is um, of course like I mentioned just now I have the BSH limited edition version so the one I think the latest version 4 comes with an, an applied San Martin logo right so that's about the dial and on the V sorry 007X of course uh, it's almost similar dial I think so this one features this you know sunburst silver dial which of course closest mimics the uh, S, uh, the 62 mass and again similar um, rectangular rectangular our hands which is very very huge and yeah it's not really that big compared to this one right so yeah you can see that of course this one is bigger so the our markers is bigger and the hands right so almost similar right so we have um, polish uh, polish hands all to get all all the hands are actually polish and even on the 007 is all polish and you can see it, it, it almost like a shrunk down version of this 7007 right so again similar uh, three hour three o'clock uh, date wheel there and uh, we have the automatic 200 meters uh, or 300 uh, 300 and sorry 600 feet um, printed at the six o'clock right so um, yeah that's about the dial on D007X and if you compare it to the cistern you can immediately see that the hour markers on the cistern is a whole lot bigger right so almost all of the markers on the cistern is bigger and even the hands are bigger right so you can see here that the hands on the cistern is actually have a multiple finishing so f brush finishing on the top and polish finishing on the side if I play around with the light a little bit more can see that polish bit on the hands and yeah other than that they are almost similar if, uh, if especially yeah on the second hands here there is that rectangular mark rectangular second hands and also rectangular second hands on the system is actually bigger compared to the 07 or compared to the San Martin all right so let's talk a bit more about the crown right so let's talk a bit more about the crown crown this season has this polish and with this uh, laser engraved uh, system logo on the side and how big or how small is it let's just bring the calipers again okay so that will be around 6.5 millimeters in diameter and it is actually how tall is this again about 3.9 millimeters in diameter sorry in in height and unscrewing the crown yeah you can unwind it Alright, so you can set the date. Of course, it is using the Seiko Energy 35 move, so you can I can just hand wind it like that, and uh, set the time. Let's do that 10 10 position. Are we out of danger zone? Yeah, we are out of the danger zone. So let's do that 10 position. Okay, so I'm lucky there because this crown has some problem uh, where when I push sometimes when I push it back in, it won't engage 
the the movement so that is very very annoying i've asked system for a replacement they sent me one i tried to replace it and it doesn't it just don't work all right so that is the <laughs> cistern uh let's check out the crown on this one on this 007x that is a seven millimeters crown so that's good and a height of about height of about 4.5 millimeters so that's good size right so unscrewing the crown very very nice it has that pt5000 movement which is a bit heavy to to hand wind right so yeah that is your common problem with pt5000 movement it may be a common characteristic i must say let's just see if it is out of the danger zone yep out of the danger zone and let's do that 10 10 position like so put it back in and adjust the date so that's good so, okay sorry 14 and 15 today is 16 screwing it back in because it has that 55,000 movement when you screwing back in you are actually again winding the movement right so the next one will be this um yeah i've already set it to the correct time of course similar uh similar oh sorry i should check the dimensions first right so this one is using a crown uh, oops sorry about that <laughs> sorry not inch i'm not being going to that will be about seven millimeters in diameter and a height of about four mil all right so that's good oh i've totally forgot to talk about this the engrave so this one is the version one which comes with this shark logo there but i think on the version four it has that dollar logo which people don't really like and on the 007 exit features that san martin hexagonal logo which is my preferred preference right so that is about the crown let's talk about the case bag right so the case bag is featuring this um old san martin logo sorry shark logo at the bottom here nh35 divers 200 meters <laughs> right sapphire crystal and yeah you can see that the bag is also brush right so um uh, yep so let's take check out the 007x right so again almost similar but this time around we have the san martin sub 007x diverse 200 meters sapphire stainless steel right so here you can see that there is a difference between the how the case is machined so you, here you see that the uh, cutting here is uh, almost flush to this case back but on the san martin 007x you see that there is a bit a step here to put on where you put on the uh, bracelet so which is kind of look ugly because it is unfinished uh, it's kind of difficult to finish because yeah it's kind of stuck down there so yeah that is also the difference between this one and also the case shape between this one and also the cistern right so the cistern yeah you don't have that step where you need to put on the bracelet so that is why i have no idea how cistern uh produced their bracelet um yeah I had, i've never handled their bracelet before so if you guys know please do let me know in the comment section below so again cistern all this um finishing is quite beautiful done beautifully done i must say this engraving and yeah but still i you know if i'm to pick between these two i'd, I'd pick this, this one I just something about this chart logo which you know <laughs> attracts me a whole lot more compared to the system right so again se62 s001 is the season model number um yeah i didn't mention the the the, the movement movement detail here right so one more thing that i forgot to mention is about the crystal right so you can see that the system is using this dome sapphire crystal but it's not really dot that top hat right so because it is going to add some more cost to it i think there is a bit of blue anti-reflective coating there it works right so that's good but still it is a dome sapphire crystal but on the 007x they are using this box dome sapphire crystal which is my favorite of the bunch because it has that it gives that vintage look but at the same it, at the same time it doesn't really add that much of a thickness to the watch which is my my preference but some uh, in in the um, in my um, initial review video mentioned that they prefer this bubble <laughs> bubble crystal here which is this which is very very tall and um, i'm not really sure whether the version 4 of the 007 is still using this type of crystal but yeah still 
I don't really like it because it's you know it adds quite a lot of thickness to the wash. But the good side of this, the good thing about this particular bubble crystal is that you can see that the uh, minute markers, right? It looks like it is elongated, whilst on this uh, 007X, it doesn't really give that um, you know that look to the <laughs> to the to the uh, hour marker. So yeah, it is what it is, guys. All right, so let's see. Uh, how it wears on my 6.75 inch wrist Sorry. of course this one is the biggest so it's going to feel much much more heavier and yeah it feels a little bit chunkier and i don't know guys i just don't really bond with it i guess all right so this is how it looks on oops sorry i hit the camera there so yeah it the 48 millimeters all uh, it looks like a bit long because the case doesn't really curve that much and let's put on the 007x the smaller version which is my which is my preference between the two san martin and i've put it on the san martin supplied uh, fkm waffle strap which is for me the best look compared i i prefer this look compared to the bracelets right so yep you can see that there is a bit more curve to the case and it is i just prefer smaller watches these days the 37 millimeters case just feels right on my wrist and let's put on the cistern cistern uh, is supplied i bought this on this on their own uh cistern fkm rubber str fkm strap which is excellent by the way and yeah this is how it looks again the curve is more compared to this one so yeah i prefer this uh, cistern Right, so let's check out the loom. The loom. Let's see where the heck did I put my UV lights? Right, so let's just just take this off the camera. Jama, jama, jama. <laughs> jama is in Japanese. It means um, it's something that is troubling. It's not supposed to be there, right? So jama this, jama this. So that is a little bit of Japanese language lesson for you. Right, so are you guys ready? Three, two, one, boom! All right, so the room is not that dark, but still, you can see that the C3 Super Luminiva on the 007 is very, very bright. So Saint Martin never skimp on their loom, but of course we have this beautifully done loom bezel insert on the 007 but it's not really that bad for the 007X, right? So similar quality, similar you know brightness, similar. Uh, longevity in the dark so that's good but if you compare it to the cistern right so the cistern has one little party trick there which is that loom date wheel which <laughs> for me makes me smile during the night and because i can i could know what time what day it is what date is it today and yeah both sorry all three of them is has very very good loom right so in conclusion which is my preference right of course i uh, you guys know that i prefer smaller watches these days so my preference number one will be this one right so this 007x so nice proportions nice movement and you know uh, it's not perfect but yeah still because when i pair it on this bracelet um it's going to be about 150 grams so for me 150 grams is still quite a uh, chunk of metal on my wrist so i would have preferred them to slim down the bracelet from 20 to 16 millimeters that would make make it perfect but as of now it is perfect on this rubber bracelet of which i think is an extra option and of course i will link a link down below if you want to get one of these excellent uh san martin uh rubber strap cam rubber waffle strap the second so okay so the second best for me is of course this system the sister right so the combination of good price good loom good bezel action and beautifully done dial i must say so yeah it makes it a great option but the quality control i just can't get it right it, uh, it's just annoying it, it annoys me to be completely honest right so which makes me i don't really want to review any system watches after i've had that quality issue and of course they sent me the wrong watch on my previous dosa watch dosa so much watch right so that is makes that is makes it very very annoying but yeah still if you you know if you can, can forgive that and if you get lucky so this is a great option for the price let's talk a bit more about the price right you by by now you guys know that that is my third uh least favorite uh 62 mass or much let's talk about the price this one when it was first introduced it cost about 330 us dollars like quite a chunk of money guys uh but of course they have reduced it since to about 205 us dollars just now this one you can get it from 
178 US dollars start in starting price with this FKM rubber and of course there's no non loom bezel insert and the bread that you can also upgrade to the loom bezel insert we you need, you need to add 10 bucks more thing and you can also upgrade to the bracelet version which will in total will cost you about 210 bucks right so yeah that's for me that's a great option if you like it on the bracelet and last but not least this one this uh, 007 is basically for guys with bigger wrist than mine right so maybe if you guys have bigger 7.7 so seven inch or more or bigger wrist so this one is one to one to go um and it, it costs 250 us dollars somewhere around that but of course uh, you, you guys know me if you want to get one of these so get it during the sales because they are a whole lot cheaper during that time right so there you have it guys my in-depth comparison between these three awesome 62 mass or much watches from san martin and also from system what do you guys think if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye